Hello friends, welcome to exam tricks. Today we are going to learn a trick to remember writs in the Indian constitution. But before that, let's understand the meaning of the writs. Writ means an order issued by an authority. Under article 32, in right to constitutional remedy, Supreme Court can issue writs and High Court issues order under article 226. Different type of types of writs are first habeas corpus, then mandamus, prohibition, seritorari and quo warranto. These are Latin words. So first of all, let us understand the meaning of these words. Habeas corpus means to have the body of. This writ is issued when a person is detained by another person and uh, another person or any uh, public authority. Then this writ is issued to produce the person in the court. And then court inquires whether the detention is legal or illegal. If it is illegal, then that person is released. It can be issued against both public, sorry for the spelling, as well as private individual. This is an important fact. Please keep in mind, it can be asked in the examination whether a writ habeas corpus writ is issued against private individual or not. Then second writ is mandamus. It means the order. It is an order issued by the court against public officials to do their duty. But when the nature of duty is discretionary, it cannot be issued. So it orders activity. When a public official fails to do his duty or refuses to perform his or duty, then this order is issued. Then the third writ is prohibition to forbid. While mandamus gives activity, prohibition gives inactivity. It forbids the action. It is issued by higher court to lower court to prevent it from exceeding the jurisdiction. It can be issued against judiciary as well as tribunals. Higher court like Supreme Court and High Court can issue order against lower courts judiciary and tribunals to prohibit them from exceeding their jurisdiction. Then the next rate is seritorari which means to be certified or to be informed. Here Again, Supreme Court uh, takes the cases pending in the inferior court or squashes any order given by the inferior court. It can be issued against judicial, semi-judicial and administrative bodies. Earlier it was not issued against administrative bodies but it is now issued against administrative bodies. Finally, the last one is QO warranto which means by what warrant. Here the court examines whether the authority or claim of a person to office is rightful or not. It is issued against administrative body but it cannot be issued against any ministerial office and as well as uh, against president or governor. And one important fact regarding this writ is it can be sought by any person which means any person can ask for this writ while the other writs, habeas corpus, prohibition, seritorary, can be filed only by the aggrieved person, the person who is affected by these, by any act that person can only file these writs, while QO warranto can be sought by any person. Now, I hope you understand the meaning of these writs. Uh, let us form a trick to remember the writs. If you form a trick from these Latin words, you will find it difficult to recall in the examination their meaning. So, we will form a trick from their meanings only so that you don't have to remember these Latin words as well as their meaning. So, we will take the keywords here. For habeas corpus, we have keyword body to bring the body of the meaning was. Then mandamus means Order. Mandamus means the order. So we will take the keyword order here. 
then prohibition means forbids territorially means to be certified or informed we will take here certified or certificate from that and qo warrant means by what warrant we will take warrant or authority as the keyword it will help us to formulate the trick qo warrant to authority so here we have the keywords body order forbids certificate authority can you form any sentence let us try just add a word bad here so bad body order prohibits him to get the certificate so here i have made a sentence out of these keywords and just added a word bad bad this you cannot find any meaning of this sentence just it will be easy to remember this if you add something funny to it so just remember if person has a very bad body order order that's why he is not able to get certificate of authority some post he is not being given bad body order prohibits him to get the certificate of authority so in this way you can recall all the grades so this was the trick hope you like the trick as well as the explanation and please give me your feedback as well as suggestion and new ideas on which i can make videos on thanks for watching and do like the video if you uh, want me to make more such videos thank you